And we followed Megan Lee with Dream Walkin' by Toby Keith. This was a song written by Jim Firmino, who sadly died this week at 69 years old. He wrote a lot of really great country songs from the last 20, 30 years, including a series of hits for Toby Keith in that 90s period when I really like him, like before he starts to segue into the kind of bro stuff that he gets a lot of shit for now. Well, certainly in the last 20 years anyway, but that stuff he did in the 90s, I really loved, and Dreamwalking was a special one for me. I'm going to take a slight hop up the road to Scotland, and we're going to go with The Ramblin' Rover by Siobhan Miller. Siobhan Miller is a highly acclaimed Scottish folk singer. She's got a really beautiful voice. It makes you feel like you're sat round the fire in a candy little pub sipping Balvini. You know, once the world reopens properly, I'm going to try and get out to see her. Let's face it, it's not like it's far away where she's playing. She's often playing up in Edinburgh looking at the past, and that's certainly a fun little trip up for a little gig in a session. Look, I say I want to wait for the world to reopen, according to Chase Rice. This thing is over. Um, If you don't think so, move on. It's over. I just wanted to really congratulate Chase Rice in taking time out of his busy schedule of making fucking shite music and becoming an epidemiologist. Quite impressive. Hopefully he'll go full-time with the old epidemiology and fuck the music off. We follow that with Not For Nothing by Jane Rose and the Dead End Boys. Or Dead End Boys, I don't know if it's like they've got a dead leg or something. Jane Rose and the Dead End Boys come from Nashville and they play self-styled alt-country rockabilly. Jane is a particularly attitudinal front woman, something that I particularly enjoy. It comes through in the music, and if you look them up on any video, she's got a lot of energy and a lot of passion. She sums it up quite succinctly in a somewhat paraphrased Marilyn Monroe quote. Well-behaved women rarely make history, so let's fuck shit up. <laughs> 